Doctor Who, The Day of the Daleks, Episode 1, Hallway. It is the evening in a grand old house, complete with tapestries on the wall, and long case clock ticking away in decades. A unit soldier stands guard. Efficient, a middle-aged woman speaks to him. Pageant, you'll be sure that nobody disturbs him, won't you? Miss Pageant goes up the stairs. Study so original styles of a silver-haired man sits at his desk, writing with a proper fountain pen, using a blotter. A breeze blows the curtains. He goes over to discover a man in camouflage dress, with a non-contemporary weapon. Stiles what the intruder pushes Stiles until he's lying across the back of a Chesterfield. Stiles, oh, no, no, no. Just as seems Stiles is about to be shot. There's a beautiful strange light and a strange sound effect. The intruder vanishes. Miss Page, Pagette, enters. Pagette? Sir Re- Reginald, are you all right? What happened? Stiles, he attacked me. Tried to kill me. Pageant, who? Pageant, who did? What happened? Stiles, he vanished. Disappeared in thin air like a ghost. French windows are open. Unit office. The brigadier answers the telephone. Brigadier? Leopard Stewart. Man, O.C. Oh. Ah, I have the minister for you. Minister? Ah, O.C. Hello. Brigadier? Oh, good. Put him through, will you? Minister O.C. Hello, hello. Brigadier? Good morning, Minister. Minister O.C. I've just been on to Alderley House. I rather had some dis... I rather had some... Rather had some... Rather... I rather had some rather disturbing news. Brigadier? Yes. Has I seen the report from Miss... Uh, Miss Pidget? Doesn't seem to be very much to go on, Minister. I see... I don't need to tell you how critical the situation is. Brigadier, yes, Minister. I'm well aware of Sir Reginald's importance in his negotiations. Minister O.C., then you're proposing to do nothing about it? Brigadier, no, Minister. I do do not propose to ignore the matter. Putting my best man onto it. As a matter of fact, I was just about to brief him when you rang. Unit Laboratory. The doctor has the TARDIS console in the room. He's working on the dematerialization circuit, as usual. Show, doctor, why don't you make take a break? Doctor, it's maddening, you know. So nearly there. If I only could cut out these over uh, their override on the dematerialization circuit. Let me see how these figures, those figures, doctor. Show, doctor, thought the TARDIS was working again. Doctor, what gave you that that you that idea? Joe, I'll be dragged off to the alien planet five hundred years in the future, for example. You know all that business with the miners and the colonists. Doctor, oh my, my dear Joe, the TARDIS being operated under remote control by the Hale Council of the Time Lords. Joe, well, if it worked for them. Doctor, I don't want to, it to work for them. I want it to work for me. No one's going to turn me into an infantry puppet. Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that before? Doctor does goes underneath the console. Moment later, the doors to the lab open. A second do- doctor and Joe were there standing there. Doctor too. Yes, of course, I remember now. Look, don't worry, my dear. I know you're alarmed, but you don't need to be, doctor. Yes, well, they, they should do it. That should do it. Why not? Did they never realise that? And the doctor sees himself standing there. Doctor, oh no, what are you doing here? Doctor do too. Well, I'm not not here. Don't worry. Well, what, well, that is, in a sense, I'm here, but you're not here. Yes, well, it's a bit difficult to explain, really. Doctor, this isn't, they won't do, this won't do it at all. We're kind of two of us running about. Doctor, two, do, yes, don't, well, yes, well, don't worry. Well, it will sort itself out. Flash bang from the console will do, because it's vanished. Joe, Doctor, what happened? Doctor, well, it's a very complicated thing, really, at time. Joe, once you begin tampering with it, the oddest things just happened, start happening. Joe, there's another one of you and another me. Well, where are they gone? Doctor, back into their own time stream, of course. I do, I do, I mean forward. Joe, but Doctor, I don't understand. Doctor, look, Joe, don't worry about it. It's a freak effect. Very unlikely to happen again. Hold that. Give me my papers. Brigadier, the Brigadier enters. Doctor, Brigadier, do, oh, Doctor. Glad you're still here. I need your help, Doctor. Sorry, Brigadier, I'm busy. Brigadier, yeah, so am I, Doctor, so am I. Now then, you're the head of... You heard us, Reginald Stiles? 
Don't know. I can't say I have. Joe well, isn't he the chief representative of the UN? Really, that's right. Key figure on the latest summit conference. Doctor, oh, my, doctor, my dear chap, I'm a scientist, not a politician. Really, you know, Doctor, if you don't spend so much time thinking about with this wretched contraption, you realise how much bad the international situation becomes. Doctor, but humans are always squabbling over something really near. But yes, well, the peculiar squabble looks like ending up in a World War Three. Chinese dele- dele- delegation refused to attend. Without them, the conference can't even begin. Now stars are flying to Peking for two hours. There's just a chance you might p- can persuade them to change their minds. So they're all right, Brigadier. So what's his p- what's his problem? Pretty well, he was working late last night. Went down at Ad- 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 Adderley. Joe, where's that? Brigadier Adderley, Miss Grant. It's a government-owned country house about 50 miles north of London. Where the conference is due to be held. Held. Joe, oh, Brigadier, he suddenly started behaving rather oddly. Seemed to think that someone was trying to assassinate him. Doctor, any idea who? Brigadier, no, some sort of ghost, apparently. Oldly, the place of the lawns near the house is disturbed by the light and sound of it the previous night. In the night time, time is posted as a man in the middle of the meadow. He runs for cover and looks towards the house and flees with a strange sound. Starts up, note this. Dunmore House in Buckinghamshire, which is now almost destroyed in fire, by fires twice in the nineteen nineties. He runs along a path of the railway bridge. Of a canal, suddenly a large grey alien skinned, uh, suddenly a grey skinned, large grey skinned alien with heavy blows and brows and jaw knocks him down the slope. The alien and his companion walk down the slope, see the man is unconscious, and go in a tunnel on the bridge. Study Paget. He said somebody attacked him and vanished. Doctor, you are absolutely certain he said the word ghost? Paget, oh yes, oh yes. But after we see Stiles enters, Stiles. Miss Padgett, what's going on here? Padgett, these people are from units, sir. Stiles, who asked them to come here? Dr. Padgett, I did, because of what happened yesterday. Stiles, nothing happened yesterday. Spigadier, there seems to have been some sort of incident, Sir Reginald. Stiles, nothing of any importance. Joe, well, if you could tell us what happened. Stiles, I was working late. I must have dropped off. First gust of wind blew the papers on my desk. I woke up rather confused. I was picking up the papers when Miss Padrett came in. Miss Padrett came in. But yeah, but you did mention ghosts. Dolls, did I? Must have been having a nightmare. Padrett, but the French win- windows were shut. I closed them because before I went to bed. Dolls, then they must have opened them. Dolls, I say you also made those marks on the floor over there. Muddy feet, sir, Reginald. Someone was here, all right, you know. Dolls, are you accusing me of lying, sir? Great dear Sir Reynold, you've obviously been under considerable strain recently. Were you feeling were you feeling all unwell last night? Dolls, I felt well feel perfectly well. Now if you excuse me, sir, excuse me, I do a lot, a lot, a lot to do. I do the airport in an hour. Great dear, you've no objection to my men searching the grounds? Dolls, none at all. But I really don't know what you hope to find. Railway bridge soldiers and the doctor Brigadier are combing the grounds thoroughly, and two are looking over the bridge to the canal. Uncle's man, the man is spotted. The dark soldier, he's over here. Benton, the doctor, the brigadier, and Yates go along the towpath to the man. Soldier, Sergeant Benton leaves. Doctor, oh, he's in a bad way, poor chap. You better get him to the hospital. Brigadier, Captain Yates, Yates, right away, sir. Rach leaves. Brigadier picks up the man's strange weapon. Brigadier, it's a new one on me. What do you make of it, Doctor? Doctor, I'm not quite. I'm not sure. Benton returns with his case on a strap. Benton, sir? Brigadier, what have you got there, Benton? Benton, I have no idea. It's hidden about 50 feet inside the tunnel. Must have been there recently. I reckon the case is full of secretary. Control room. A man in a greenish high neck suit. Sits on the paddle, paddle wrap, wrapped around. Chair, like a cross between Ernest Sobo, Bonfield, and number two. The turquoise room is also mainly green. Young women sitting in various consoles. 
The big grey aliens, Oregons, or, enter controlling. The report the Oregons speak slowly, a mouth full of large teeth. Can Leo Reese, in a way? Oregon, be found and destroy the enemy. Controller, any complications? Oregon, no complications. Controller, good. They will be satisfied. I do not say dismiss. I do not say dismiss. You want, they, I want an intensified effort. There can be no relaxation. How do we found all those responsible for this menace? They relate them too. Now you must may go. Just keep me informed of all the developments. Study styles enters and looks shocked at the sight of the strange weapon. Brigadier, have you seen this before? Styles really speak, Brigadier. What sort of games you're playing? Brigadier, it is not a game, sir. So I do to protect you. Styles, I don't need your protection, Doctor. So original, you found a very sick injured, severely injured man down by the canal tunnel. Styles, oh really? And what did he look like, Brigadier? With thirty five ish so of red build, wearing a sort of gorilla combat suit. Doctor, and carrying that gun, Styles, I'm very sorry, gentlemen. I have, I have rather more important things on my mind at the moment. Excuse me, my dear. Arrange an escort to take you to the airport, sir. I was thinking, but it sh- won't, shouldn't be necessary. Really, I'm sorry, sir, but I think I think it, it will. Styles, oh, if you insist. Styles, leave, Doctor. I'd like to get that gun down to the laboratory. I, Run a through test on it. Brigadier, anything else we can do? Doctor, no, not for the moment. I think we just have to sit and wait and hope that I will be assassin to gain his consciousness. Ammons Yates says, stay with him every moment, Brenton. Take down everything he says, everything, everything, anything at all. Brenton, leave it to me, sir. The unit laboratory, the weapon had been set up in the front of the firing range. Doctor Well basically is a form of ultrasonic disintegrator. Joe, you mean a ray gun? Doctor, that's right. Joe, I mean a ray gun. And it's far more sophisticated than any weapon yet invented on Earth. Now take a look at this. The doctor fires a weapon. Target vanishes in white or flash of white light. Doctor, quite an effective little weapon, huh? Really, Doctor, you say this was made on Earth? Do you mean it comes from the other planet? Doctor Well, that was my theory at first. Yes. But in metrology analysis, says the iron consistently very much of this world. In fact, we mine not far from here, North Wales. Well, how do you explain that? Do they do believe in ghosts, Brigadier? Doc, Brigadier, let be, let's be serious, Doctor. Doctor, I am. Brigadier, come along, Doctor, come along. Doctor, oh, my mistake of forgetting the majesty of nature and the military mind. We saw a couple of Amicans, separatists, a few moments ago, didn't we, Joe? Joe did? Doctor, yes, here in the laboratory. Do- Joe, oh, you mean when we, Doctor, mind you, they were manifestations of much more benevolent kind. None of your cranking chains and stilly fingers. But ghosts, nonetheless. Do that because they were playing around the time mechanism on the TARDIS, wasn't it? Do that was because you were playing around the time mechanism on the TARDIS, wasn't it? Pretty dear, still can't get the work of it, it to work, huh? The doctor picks up the case the soldiers found. Doctor, well, I can't get this thing to work either. This is former. This is a former time machine, very crude kind. Joe, how do you know? Was that doctor come over here? Look at this. What do you think that is? Joe, it's a mini miniaturization circuit. Doctor, top of the class, Joe. Do, now then, pop this in here like that. Puts a little circuit on an insert in the case. Joe, do, now look, now as far as I can gather, you push this button, it should the day the light display starts. Doctor, good grief, it's working. And the amber patient vanishes for underbender's actual nose. Control room. Technicians, sir. Technicians, sir. Control room, what is it? Technician time transfer emitter. In operation, sir. 12th century zone. Controller. Can you fix the space time control coordinates? So, technician, I'm sorry, try, sir. But it's very faint and erratic. Unit laboratory. Doctor. Joe, be careful, doctor. Doctor, all right. Oh, Joe, all right. Control room. Doc, co- control room. Controller, well. Technician, no, technician, no good, sir. There's a transference, I think, but the machine's got cut off cut out completely. Controllers complete scanning. 
Next time he's better be more efficient. Patrol looks at large golden perpetually annoyed pepper pop. Dalek report. Unit laboratory. The case has now st- uh, stopped working. Doctor, well, the thing working things work really completely dead now. Joe, but it was working. Doctor, yes, it started to work. Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's a temporal feedback circuit was overload has overloaded. Ready? What's that? What's done? What's done that? What's that? What's done that? What's done what? Doctor, in the old turn, Vidya, the thing's full of fumes. Intercom buzzes. Doctor, please. Vidya, Lippridge, Stuart. Yes, Sergeant. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I see. All right, Sergeant. Will you fully... We'll better report back to Captain Yates. Goodbye. Benton, the ambulance, the man we found. Doctor, well? Vidya, well, couldn't it him? The man just vanished. Faded away like a ghost. Doctor, well, no. Vidya, well, Doctor, what happened? Don't know well, everything that happens seems to be good round, round centre round Sal's house. Brigadier, obviously, Doctor. And whatever they have tried to harm him, the tip will probably try again. Joe, how would you like to spend the night in a haunted house? Study Joe shuts the French windows, looking out the wind night. Doctor enters with a tray carrying a bottle and two glasses, a cheese board. Doctor, you know one thing you can be certain of with politicians that whatever their political ideas, they always keep a well stocked larder, not to mention a cellar. Joe, Doctor, ought you just, ought you, ought you just to help yourself like that? Doctor, well, you heard what Miss Pageant said. Joe, we were to treat the place as our own. Joe, I wish you hadn't sent all those servants away. Doctor, that's common sense. You don't expect a ghost to walk in the house for people, can you? Come on, tuck in, Do- Joe. Well, I'm not really hungry, thank you, Doctor. Doctor, well, you ought to eat something, you know. It would likely to be a very long night. Joe jumps in, jumps at Joe chimes. Joe, what's that? Doctor, a clock chiming. I say, you really ought to try these gonzola cheese, the gonzola cheese. It's absolutely delicious. Terence, a bunch of squaddies run along the gravel path. Made a move. Yates is reporting. Land Rover. Land Rover's our team. Yates, hello, hello. Grand hole hound to trap one. Greyhound to trap one. Can we meet over? Benton, all that, that's my position, sir. Yates, thank you, Benton. Quite so far. Benton. Like a morgue, the strange light starts to pulse out of the tunnel under the railway bridge. Study. A doctor moved on for the cheese to the wine. Do I, yes. Yes, that's the most good thing with wine. A touch sardonic, perhaps, but not cynical. Yes, the most civilised wine. Wine, one after my own heart. High away. Joe leaves the study and starts to go up the stairs when somebody enters. Benton, everything all right, miss? Joe, is it? It was not. It was until you came along. You took years of me, like my life, keep around about like that. Bent well, we didn't want to disturb you. The doc was up. Was he up to? Joe, well, at the moment, was carrying on rather like a one man. Food and wine society, Benton. Oh, thinking of food. Talking of food, you know, don't couldn't get a couldn't, couldn't get a bite to eat. That's a bite to eat. Would would you miss? I'm finished, Joe. Hang on. Study, Joe. Picks up a plate of cheeses and a second glass of wine. Doctor, Joe? Joe, all in a good cause, halfway. Benton, oh, ah, you saved my life. But before he can even cut into a piece of cheese, Yates, I see, Sergeant Benton. Benton, sir? Sergeant, oh, no. Yates, just wanted you to check, think. Just what do you think you're up to, Benton? Benton, I was just checking, sir, Yates. Well... Yes, well, I want you to go back and check on number three patrol. Move, Sergeant Benton. Benton, sir. Benton leaves. Jake's Joe. How thoughtful. Jake says a drink of wine. Joe. Well, that was that was very kind of you. Yates. R-I-I-H-I-R-I-P, Joe. R-H-I-P, Joe. Joe, pardon? Yates. 
where it has its privileges, thank you. Study. Doctor, what was that all about? Joe, feeding troops. Doctor, oh, you're quite right. Do you know, I remember saying to all the puddling bodies, I said, always remember that an army matches its stomach. The Almighty Yates, it certainly does, Doctor. Doctor, hmm, Joe, you didn't mean that what you said every day about ghosts, Doctor. Well, there are many different kinds of ghosts, Joe. Ghosts of the past and ghosts from the future. Joe, well, what kind do we have, have we, do you, did you have in mind, Doctor? Well, as more the point is, what have they got, what well, help, please, have they got us in mind? French windows that blow open, though, Joe, what? Doctor, it's just the wind. The doctor closes the windows and draws the curtains. Doctor, look, why don't you take a nap? Very brief to light this flame happens, and three figures in camouflage gear appear. Two women and what men and women? At Atanat. Woman, they want, wait here to the light. Shahara, the stars, time waste. Ananat, I said we wait. Sally Joe sleeps in a live armchair. Doctor wakes, works on the case. About 7 a.m. and birds are singing. Doctor, wake up, Joe. It's all right. It's morning. Joe, nothing happened? Doctor, no, nothing at all. Apart from two unit soldiers patrolling on the home path. Getting zapped into nothing by Shahara. Unit office. The brigadier enters packet unbuttoned. Brigadier, any chance of a cup of coffee? RT Ops woman. The canteen's closed, sir. Brilliant. Oh, it would it would be uh it could be anything. R T ops. Just a murmur. Not a little murmur, sir. All right. All night. The joy goes burst in life. R T O ops. It's Geneva, sir. G G O Geneva. I see. Emergency. Emergency. All, all unit rationale. H Qs. Special H Qs. Stand by for special announcement. Announcer. Here is the latest official report. An international situation is growing steadily worse. War now seems inevitable. As few yet there is no further news of Sir Reginald Styles. So end up King, a last minute attempt to persuade the Chinese to consider their withdrawal. Geneva observation satellites report troops messing along the Russian Chinese frontier in South America and South Asia. Ports say fighting's already broken out in many regions. All unit personnel are hereby placed in maximum alert. A study. A study. A doctor's filling the case again. He's watched from across the lawn by three strangers. Joe. So the Joe Joe. Three spin out and run for the house. So I'm going to get him first. Sees the case and puts his weapon down on the table. So it enters with a glass. Says Sarah. Dashes for him, but he's knocked down with two quick Phoenician karate blows. He tries again and pins the Chesterfield. Shara, please turn the machine off, or they'll kill us all. Please, to your control room, technician, sir. Controller, yes. Technician, we picked up the that transmitter. Transmitter again, controller. You sure? Control transmission. Yes, sir. Something can see same time zone. Much stronger now. Controller. Now, right, I want the exact space kind of time coordinates. So, um, whatever happens, don't lo lose it. Dot at control room. Control or monitor. We have a fix on the time transfer de device. It's operating again in the 12th century time zone. And we, it must be them. Dalek, you attain the time space time coordinates. Controller and monitor. We're trying them. The tra trace is much stronger this time. There's every chance. Direct, you must not fail. Control or monitor. Security forces are staying by. We, if we do get our audience, what are the instructions? Direct, whatever is operating the time, whatever is destroying the operating time machine. The enemy, the Daleks. All enemies, Daleks, must be destroyed. Exterminate them. Two great Daleks. Join in their favourite refrain. Daleks, exterminate them, exterminate them, exterminate them. 